Okay, you guys, we are so excited to be here today. I'm Patty. She's Patty. Patty Pigtail today. Patty Pigtail today. Da da. Look at that. I think is that. This is what T squares are for. Is that two inches? Um, <laughs> it's almost like three. Oh, my hair has been growing the speed of a sloth. <laughs> My goodness. Anyway, I'm Patty. I'm Carrie. And we are Studio R12 Stencils, and we are so excited. Um, we started our YouTube channel. We started really working on it in 2021. Okay, so 2021. Like 2020, 2021. Yeah, time. right during, you know, that time of year, or time of life. We'll time leave that of one life. One. Yeah. Time of life, yeah. And just leave it alone. Okay, so, but if you notice, we have neat things on the back wall because we hit 15,000 subscribers on YouTube! Woo! High five, friends. Amen. You guys, give us a high five, give us a heart, give us a thumbs up, give us a, um, what are you, what's the one on YouTube with the thumbs up, right? I, yeah, I think so. I think it's a thumbs up. I never talk about the thumbs up, but, um, but th that doesn't make you subscribe or anything, but... Thank you, subscribers. Thank you. We are very appreciative, and um, we work really hard for you, and we are glad that it shows. Yeah. I, I'm so excited. Yes. Yay! And, another, and a story for another day, when it's not so fresh, we'll tell you about the balloons. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, it's got, we got a balloon story. It's a little story. salt in the wound today, yeah. but another day we'll tell that story. Yeah. So, um, but today, to kind of celebrate here on the live, um, this is... The day before Valentine's yep. Day, so we're 2, 2 13, 13, 24. Yeah. So we are going to give away 15 to celebrate 15,000. 15! 15 t shirts. Studio R12 t shirts. So um, you can have some swag from us. So all you have to do to earn that or to get drawn in that, you can take over because I can't do the details. Yeah. Um, so we want to hear from you. What is your favorite thing that you have learned from Studio R12 mm, that's a good one. since you have been following us? So you can, if you're on Facebook, leave your comment on Facebook. If you're on YouTube, leave your comment on YouTube. And then we will randomly select 15 winners mm. on the 15th. And I will privately message you or email, I'll privately message you and let you know that you've won and we'll get your shirt size and we'll get your shirt sent out to you. Yeah, it's gonna be so fun. I am so excited, you guys. This is um, something that we've worked hard for and um, dun, 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 that's my what's Superwoman pose. Yeah. I think that might be it. Ta -da. Ta -da. I need a kid. Thanks, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we so appreciate it. Super duper thanks. You guys. Like, this is um, a super fun job to have. And it is super fun getting to talk to you and know you and become friends with you and share your happy times and share your sad times. And yeah, exactly. like, it's just a really cool for me. It's like, a this is the social of social. Yeah. Like we actually use it socially, mm -hmm. like to be like, um, friends. We've had some, some stencil fans that have shared some hard moments mm -hmm. and we are on board with sending a care package. We have people sharing happy moments and we are on board with celebrating with, you yeah. know, saying prayers, like all of it, like a whole thing. We yeah, are it's, socially social about It is about so this. much more yeah. to us than getting on here and yeah. making sales and yeah, exactly. uh, posting videos and getting comp. Like it's, it's a lot more to us than what yeah. you guys probably understand. I mean, this has been my life. Painting and DIY have been my life since I was mm -hmm. 26 years old. And so my youngest son was born and I had three littles at home and um, and my husband worked second shift. So I put the kids to bed and then for my own sanity. Um, how many of you could relate to the own sanity thing? <laughs> Painting makes you sane, okay? It's, it's, it's a sanity keeper. And in the weird times in our world for the last, I don't know, however, I guess the world's always been weird. But in those times um, when you are feeling like um, things are a little bit rocky, um, get your paints out. Um, yeah. Painting is actually absolutely a scientific study that artistic things, things that you don't do every day and you do like as a hobby, crafting, all of that are good for your your energy, yep. your vibe, your everything. Yep. So, so cheers, cheers to 15,000. Cheers. Um, now let's get 25. 
Yeah. Round of 25. <laughs> so tell your friends if you're not if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel. Yeah. First of all, go do that because we do really fun stuff. We do our lives every Tuesday, but then on Saturdays we also release really wonderful videos like the one that I painted last week. And so last week I showed you guys how to use one stencil six foil. different ways with different patterns and different colors. And the reason I popped this one out is, is because, because today. no, it was by far the fan favorite. Oh, we had so, so many people comment and say that is the one. And that's the funny so cool. thing is when I was at the Dollar General today, looking for balloons, I stopped in my tracks because there was a gift bag. It was that exact same pattern. Oh, it was fun. the same color blue with the same quatrefoil yeah. gold foil. And that's I almost so cool. bought it just to come show just you guys, like, yeah. look, this is the same. But look at how that looks so cool. Like what a nice little touch. And today, this might be like a little lead in. Today we are gonna be talking about the difference between metal, metallic paint, oil and leaf. <gasps> I didn't even do that on purpose. I know, but it's perfect because yeah. that's what this is. Yeah. Woohoo. Yeah. Um but for before we do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. we do want to let you today know Today might be a little bit extra chatty because we're so excited. Cuz we're super like we are we are up here today. Yeah. And like we are all like, like, I know, right? like this is like any other. <laughs> um but this weekend on our YouTube channel, we have an IKEA hack you guys. Okay, but we're not going to show you. We're going to show you something. We're going to show you the back of our surface for this weekend. And you're going to love something the Something that of it. is going to absolutely <laughs> change the entire look. And you can do it with, like, it's, it, the word vibe is what comes to my mind. And I think you just, it's simple, it's easy, but I show you how to map out colors. Mm -hmm. I show you how to shade. I sh this this is Saturday, so you got to check us check us out on Saturday because there's so many lessons in this. You can use it for everything. So this is IKEA hack. Yep. Um, this is one of their cutting boards they've had for years. So um, any cutting board would work, but this is just an IKEA hack. So you want to check that out. Um, before we get super into it, I do want to read a couple of comments. Okay. Um, our friend Pam on YouTube said, everything I know about stenciling and painting has come from y'all, but my favorite is backgrounds. And then our friend... I love backgrounds, Pam. I love backgrounds. And then our friend Donna, I'm going to tear up. Donna said, painting crafts have helped me recover after having a stroke. And so we Yay. are so thankful yeah. that you are here with us to paint yes. with us and chat with us. And So good. Yeah. Um, and then our friend Kelly said, mine as well. Um, me as well. Mine was December 7th, 2022, and I'm so thankful to be able to craft. So yeah. thank you guys for showing up yeah. for you and for us. Well, and this this literally is, like, it, it sounds dumb to say that crafting can be life-saving, life-changing, life-altering, mm -hmm. but it is absolutely a fact. And um, I've known about this, I think, since um, I moved here. We um, The Zentangle movement, um, they started doing a whole lot of art therapy with the Zentangle and um, they did a whole bunch of studies about it and all of that. And that was right about the time that I moved here, 17 years ago, that I became aware of it. And it is, it is, it is all fact and truth these days. Yeah. That this is how you can keep your happy spot. Yeah. Your happy place. Yeah. I like it. I like it. All right. Let's get started. Okay. Cause, cause, because we have a celebration. Because when we're done today, we are celebrating with lunch. Yes. We are, we're going to Mexican. Yeah. I'm having guac and chips, and because I always overeat the <laughs> chips. Guac and chips, that's what I'm having. Okay, so today we are going to talk about foil, leaf, and metallic paints. So I'm going to introduce the players and tell you a little bit about them. Um, if you're a note taker, this might be a good one for you to take notes on. We will have all of the variables and timestamps and all of that in the description. Um, so make sure that you give us that thumbs up just for the work to put it in the description, because that's always a job. So this is foil, okay? And this is a plastic sheet that has uh, metallic stuff put on the back and then the clear is on the front, so it protects the silver. And so this is a foil substance and it is adhered so that it's kind of easier to work with. This is leaf and this is a Mona Lisa product. Um, 
both of these things, this is a Delta product that I have had in my, you, we should show them the bin. Yep. You might, you might have to. I think I'm gonna yeah, have to get up. She, she might have to. Um, so I just keep things in my crafting stash forever, apparently. Um, so this is the leaf and foil bucket. And so it's a mess, but in here I have all the treasures of my past. So this is the Delta leaf, that, um, that's what that used to look like. It used to be $6.99. It doesn't exist anymore under that name, but there's all kinds of other companies. This um, roll stuff is available at Hobby Lobby, big box, everything. Um, so it comes in colors, comes in iridescence um, and stuff like that. So uh, this one was used on a bunny, I think. Oh yeah, that was from last week, maybe. <laughs> yeah. And so don't throw these away because um, I'm gonna show you today but you can use everything that still has foil. See how it's clear? Can you guys see that that way? Okay, so everything that's clear is what was removed and is on the bunny, but everything that's still got the gold on it is still good to use, and then you can kind of just move it and patch it, and I will be showing you that today. Unless you wanna put it on the floor? Oh uh, yeah, that's yeah, fine. Let's just put it in. Okay, so, um, all right, so then leaf is, very, very sensitive. So that's why they made foil. Um, so it comes with these little tissue um, papers in between and leaf is, it will float and it will be like glitter in your life. So this is- It's so delicate. How sensitive you- oh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what in the world just happened? Um, I don't know, something let go and a bunch all, of, a bunch all heck of just broke loose about. over there. A um, bunch of stuff fell. Anyway, so sorry about the scream. If you have earbuds on, I am really sorry. <laughs> one thing about Patty is she is probably one of the jumpiest, easiest to um, get to scream people on earth. I'm a startler. Um, it's been better. Like Ted would come up behind me in my house, in my house, and um, he would be like, Hi, honey, how are you? And I'd go, Rah! You know, and scream. And he'd like, I live here too. <laughs> Anyway, so this is super delicate and super sensitive, um, and that gets treated a slightly different way. This is me. Patty is the foil this of our Carrie. office. Or Patty's Carrie's like foil, and I'm <laughs> I'm leaf. So if, if we only had temperaments. Okay, so then we go into our other players, and that is going to be, I have three of them. These are all three Deco Art. Deco Art is a phenomenal brand. Um, available in almost all the craft stores all over the place. This is um, Metallic Luster. This is actually pretty neat stuff. I really like this product, especially for adding a little bit of zhuzh around. Zhuzh is a word today, okay? So if it's not really a word, I made it one. But um, so, and then this is their extra Extreme Machine Metallic, and it's in silver. And then this one is, my glasses are sitting here. So it's decor metallic. So this is something that you're gonna use if you're doing something big. Um, all of these things, eh, probably not this one, these two. If it were me, I would undercoat with this, um, with a gray that is close to the color of the thing. Because sometimes if you're putting it on a dark color, it's gonna, it's gonna affect what your top looks like. So you wanna make sure that you're undercoating. Do a little test, um, everybody, I'd say not on planet Earth, but pretty close, is going to have a cardboard box laying around someplace these days because everything is so online. So save some good, strong cardboard, cut them down into some sample sheets, and then you will have all of the things that you need to be able to um, test. I Ooh, am testing. going to share mm -hmm. a video when I find it. Lena painted a big two-part Christmas sign that said all is calm all is bright yeah. and she used yellow paint versus gold and showed you the difference yeah. of what the metallic looked like and then also did an undercoat with the yellow yeah. to show that difference so i'm going to find that because it is definitely yeah the undercoating when you're using a metallic paint is like the bomb so you want to do that um last week i showed you red um some pigments yellow red silver um, are gonna want to have an undercoat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna tape in two places. You notice that my stencil, this is one of our mandala stencils. So I'm gonna take this away and put it here. Um, it is dirty with paint because I was doing a special test in a couple of weeks. Um, do we tell them that next week we're changing our schedule? 
I have not yet, no. So we can go ahead and tell you now. So for yeah. next week, so this today is 213.24. <clears throat> next week, we will not be live on Tuesday. We'll be live on Monday, February 19th. So we will get that scheduled. We'll make sure to remind yeah. you. But next week, we'll be live on Monday rather than Tuesday. Yeah, so um, anyway, so uh, we have a special new surface to share with you. And I did a test on that surface with this because of its structure. And it may or may not, well, I'm not going to drop that hint. Okay, no. so I'm going to go ahead and place this on here. And I'm really sorry I screamed. <laughs> there was a cup that fell. A cup lid fell and it took down, I think that's like 50 stencils that are all tea towel stripes. Okay, so I'm going to tape. If you don't, if you can't tape around your edges, then what you do is you look for the biggest opening that you can find and you tape on the biggest opening and then you can rotate those around as you go. But if you tape in, this is like one of the best tips ever. Um, you need to know this. If you tape in one spot, your stencil can do all kinds of moving. If you tape in two spots, then your stencil can't do it. So it is just such a good tip. All right, so we're going to start with doing a little bit of undercoating with our gray for our silver paints. Okay, so we'll go with gray. We're gonna treat this as a regular stenciling project. We're gonna load with our dome brushes, which are back in stock full sets if you need a full set. Um, make sure that you're letting us know what you like about Studio R12 because we are going to be doing the drawing for the swag t-shirt. Okay, and so then if I'm using the gray, I'm just going to go through and do my normal swirling. If this is hanging over the edge and it's too much, you can take something else that you have on hand. Sometimes if a big flop is happening, now that's way too tall. So maybe a couple paper towels. Um, one paper towel, there we go. Um, so you can take something that's equal size as your surface and you can put it under there and then it won't push over which makes a big bubble and it makes it so that it's easier to bleed under. But the dome brushes will prevent almost all of that. Okay, so I'm just gonna swirl and do this and Carrie, if you have anything you wanna say, don't write the second. Okay. Get in these links for that oh, yeah. video. Yeah, yeah. And you guys give Carrie a big, 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 big giant like heart or something because like she goes and finds and seeks and searches for every single thing that um, you guys are seeing. It's, it's she's incredible. Thank Absolutely you. incredible. I okay. want to welcome our friend Christy. She is new to stenciling. She is joining us on YouTube, and this is the first time she has chatted during the live. So Yay! kudos to Christy. Thank you for coming, and we are um, we're glad you spoke up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You guys, um, the community of this is the absolute most important thing. Um, I don't like. I'm a middle novice gardener, and I I dive into the comments on gardening more than I even go there for the, the expert's opinion because I want to hear the back and forth of things. So it, what you say is so valid. Okay, so with metallics, there are whatever the metallic is, I'm doubting that it's anything metal, but whatever the metallic is, is going to be something that sinks. And so you want to give extra thought and care to shaky, shaky, shaky because um, things tend to settle. And so no matter if it's been two weeks or, you know, eight years. And we'll put that out. It's a beautiful color. Now I'm going to use my dirty brush with my spare hair up there. Um, and I'm going to stipple with this color right over. And I'm going to wipe off the excess just like I'm regular stenciling. You don't want a bunch of metallic bleeding under. And so then we're going to go right over the top. And we'll stipple. And then I'll go ahead and do the area right next door to it and show you guys what that looks like without the gray underneath. I think that's super valid. And can you tell me, is this the shimmering silver? Is that what color that is? Um, Let me see here. This is 10. So I'm going to share the link to Deco Art, but I'm also going to share the link. We do have a Deco Art shimmering silver that we have in stock here. 
that if you are looking for a silver metallic paint, you can I think just it's go a, a brighter it. silver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one has got a, like a platinum look to it. Okay, so now I'm going to go next door and I'm going to just do this path right here without any under. And honestly, um, so far what I'm seeing, we'll see when I lift it off. Um, to me, it looks like it's doing a really good job. Um, some metallics in the world, um, not naming names, I don't even have a, a smoking gun to do that with, but um, some metallics don't have very much zhuzh in them. Um, we're just gonna use that vocabulary word all day long, and we'll go ahead and use one for Aria. Yes, <laughs> that is so whimsical. <laughs> it's so whimsical. Um, <clears throat> so, anyway, the um, some of them don't have a lot of pigment in them, and so we'll see what this looks like. I'll pull it up in just a second. If you have been here for any amount of time, you know that I do not like to stipple. I love to swirl. However, with metallics, they're transparent, they're hard to cover, like stippling is how you're gonna get that to happen. Okay. Henry just said, I love to see Patty stippling. <laughs> Henry. <laughs> Noah. Okay, so let's reveal and see how we did. And you know what? This is brighter. It is brighter. But this did a darn fine job. If I did two coats of that, it would be not a problem at all. So. In this case, with this product right here, so I would say the Extreme Machines by DecoArt are a super fabulous um, covering metallic line of paint um, because that is phenomenal for no undercoat. Like, that's amazing. So good job, DecoArt. I really love DecoArt. I really, really do. I'm not being paid to say that. I've worked with them for um, probably 25 years, and um, they're just... Amazing people. If you know Rosemary, tell Rosemary hi because she's amazing. Okay, so now we're going to go here. We're going to shake up this metallic here. And I probably haven't ever used this, but I think it's probably been on my shelf um, the same amount of time as some of my foils. I Actually, this is a new product, so I don't think it's been that long, but maybe a year. So then we'll crack it open. Ooh, look how bright and lovely that is. That is really, really pretty. And I'm gonna just dump out a little bit and then make a mess all over the lip. Ah! Oh, shoot. If you have earbuds on, I apologize twice. That was not what I meant to do. Okay. You got a close up? Mm, that was my first time doing that, actually. So, yay. Okay, anybody that has earbuds in, just don't. <laughs> okay, put me on silent. Okay, so we're gonna pick up the same way as the other. I'm not going to, this is super thick as you saw. Um, I'm not going to undercoat this one, but we're gonna go ahead and just stipple with it. It just stops, Steve. <laughs> if you get me laughing, so I'm also one of those laughers, right? That can't stop laughing once you get me going. So, and then I'll be crying, and then you'll, I'll be embarrassed. I'll have to leave the room. She's happy I wasn't taking a drink of my coffee. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> okay, I'm also that girl. I sometimes say unexpected things when you are um, not expecting it, and it's coffee spitting time. So while we're talking about undercoating, Janice asks, "Is gray the best color to undercoat most colors?" Um. Gray is not the best color. Sometimes it can taint, like it can taint a yellow sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, so with yellow, I like to, um, I'll just undo the paint drawer here. So say I wanted a bright yellow, right? But we know bright yellows are going to have no pigment. I might pick an, a white yellow, something that has a lot of white color in it, undercoat with this. And that's why we pick this, honestly. It's a black with a lot of white in it. Um, so it's it's a neutral, <clears throat> and um, that makes things pop a little bit better. So yeah, that's what I would do with that. Yeah, Anybody I, need some extra gr uh, <laughs> silver paint? <laughs> when Lena did her project, she used a black background and she did gold. So she undercoated with a yellow paint yeah. that was going to be similar in color to the gold metallic. A long time ago, but I still remember 
Yes, that was in our the the before we even had this studio. Yeah, we um, knocked this whole side of our building completely down and then built it up from scratch. And okay, so let's take a look at what this looks like. This is the metallics. This is bright metallic paint. Let's see if you can see mm -hmm. what color that is. Yep. All right, let's see what it looks like. And so that's what that looks like. It's way brighter than these other two. It really does show off the difference between these two. So um, I think that's very interesting as well. It's called sterling silver. Ooh, sterling. I like it. And it is superior metallic sheen. And it looks like on my finger, kind of like when you do a paint pen, a metallic paint pen, that's about the color, like the brightness of it. I'm going to give a second coat to that to show you what two coats would look like. When you do this one too, can you pick it up and try to move it? So we okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me get the cap on that. And then that is the... It's got a little bit of a shimmer too. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, I think that's my favorite so far. Yeah. It's super pretty. Um, and when you get enough of your coats on it, um, you'll get... The, this one is super platinum-y. Um, and so that one is just meant to be a low grade surprise I feel like surprise is my day <laughs> carol <laughs> carol asked how do you tell if it has white paint in it um okay so white is gonna look like white has been whited like it's gonna be like everything's gonna look like white with a tint so it's kind of like your pastels yeah it's always pastels yes good good call on that one oh these are not in order Okay, I'll we'll put these away later. later. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't scream though. That was one of my my first duties on in this so uh, role Sorry, yeah. at this company was to organize the paint drawer. The paint drawer, and... man. <laughs> like it's a thing. Like it's a hard thing. Okay, so in this case, um, this one I would use for antiquing the edges, but you can rub along the material, and you're going to get it on there. I don't need to wipe it off. And then you can put that right on. You can put it over things. It's a really neat product for antiquing. I could put it over the top of my silver. It's a little bit shinier. And because it's a paste, that's why I'm not wiping it off. Okay, so then that's that guy. Yeah, that's super pretty. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I like that's, that too. Kind of nice super, thing. super sheeny. That's my favorite one. And what was that one? This one is the oh, metallic yes, lusters. The lusters. Okay. Yeah, you can yeah. tell them what color. Mm -hmm. The color is silver spark, and this is a deco art metallic luster. Yeah. So I, I shared the link for the for the deco art website. They have so many different options of metallics on yeah, their site. They have so many. Um so I'm reminding you because I'm gonna get done with these two things and then show you how to do the leaf. And we've already talked about how to varnish your leaf in another video. But um, I'm going to show you these two products, and then we're going to be done. So if you want a chance to earn your swag t-shirt, um, then you want to make sure that you are saying one thing that you learned from us or liked about us, um, and then Carrie's going to randomly pick a winner. Okay, so these, in my opinion, are, I don't know if they're the same, but they work the same. Um, this is what we use over to make the back sticky on your stencil. So you can make that tacky and sticky so it stays stuck down. Um, and then you can remove it using alcohol. Um, but they behave very similarly. So one is foiling glue. They're both Aileen. This is stick and restick. And this is foiling glue. I'm going to just use the stick and restick because, um, because why not? Um, and I'm going to show you how to do... I'm going to think I'm going to show you. There we go. Um, when you use stick and restick or the foiling glue or any sticky things with your applicators or your stencils, you need to make sure that you're going to clean them right away. So have a sink. And then um, we've got a how to clean your stencils video. So um, you can go check that video out. And that will give you all the clues about how to keep stencils clean. Um, I'll put some of this medium out. Um, a medium, if you don't know, is a like a carrier or a alternate other than paint item. So a medium, well, paint is actually a medium. Um, so medium is going to be your 
thing that it's mixed with. Um, I, I probably should have looked up a correct description of medium because I'm sure there is a better one than I just said, but um, mediums are like, this is different from paint because paint has color, this does not. So this is a sticking medium and like uh, alcohol, yes. A medium in the art world is Yay! a term for the material used to create artwork. Mediums can include paint or ink, sculpting material, fabric, glass, and even sound or living people in some cases. So today we are the mediums of our video. There you go. We, we are... <laughs> You want to be a medium? I am a medium today. Today I might be a large medium. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to use a jumbo dauber and we're going to use our um, stick and restick. And we're going to just go in there and I'm just going to smoosh it on my palette paper, which the palette paper is available on our website and it's actually mylar sheets um, that are super affordable, super reusable. And you'll see that in the how to clean your stencils because this is basically the stent this is the material we use to make our stencils. So um, super reusable, green, all those things. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here and we're just going to put this medium on. And you I'm mushing it over there so that I don't end up picking up a big scoop and it bleeds under and then I have a big mess. Um, I can clean that off, but it, I don't want to. So what I love about the Jumbo Daubers, this is a really fast way to paint through big holes. In this camera angle, I can really see that it goes on white. Yeah. But it does dry It dries through. clear. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm going to hold this down. because um, So because it's a sticky medium, um, it is pulling my stencil up as I pounce. And I want it not to do that. So then I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna do one next door to it because I wanna do the foil and the, um, actually I'm gonna go not next door, I'm gonna skip one so that I don't stick onto the neighbor's um, medium. Can I just say, Patricia, that this was a really good stencil to do for today's lesson. It's That's so cool. a really good thought. It, showing it side by side and we've had several people comment that the, they like the the comparison yeah this is um actually a really good stencil to oh we need to know this i'm going to stop myself and i'll pick it back up um if you are doing foiling or leaf you need to do two coats of your medium yes um, because it doesn't adhere very well and then you're going to end up with things like um blank and like not a clean not look. Bold. They won't be bold. Yeah. Your, your foil will be kind of sheer. S blotchy sparse, sometimes. Yeah. yeah, so two coats. So as soon as that turns clear, as soon as this turns clear, we'll give it one more coat. I told you I was almost done. I was a liar. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and finish this one up. And this one's not quite clear yet. Um, and I don't wanna waste that, so I'm just gonna leave it there. All right, so this stencil you guys we have mandala stencils like you would not believe they come in quadrants so that you can do them like big on a wall you can do pieces of furniture you can do um your floors you can do anything and we have them whole quadrants halves and so many titles i think we spent a year on mandalas um here in this company like so many mandalas. It's like a ridiculous number. Um, floor tiles and mandalas. Those are the two longest things we've ever spent time on. Um, we've got the catalog. If you need it, send your friends here. <laughs> like, we've got the things. Like, it's so many. And while we're talking about that, we have more than 7,000 stencil titles. So, like, Studio R12 stencils is where you want to go if you need choices in stencils. And we have sizes, which I love. Okay. Remember to keep commenting and tell us what you like about us. We're celebrating that 15,000 subscribers. Such a good number. Stenciling is such a micro niche that I think it makes it even a more impressive number. Now I'm going to take this and Carrie's brilliant idea is to put the back of your brush into your the little holder and dunk it in the water and it will hold that down 
and it will keep it from floating. And if you can keep it wet, it will keep it from being um, sticky or keep it from drying, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this and we're gonna get these two things dry. Now my stencil is gonna sit here and it's gonna get sticky. This is gonna be sticky unless I wash it right away. You can wash it with soapy water, look at the video. Um, I can remove that sticky with the rubbing alcohol. So I can do that after. So I'm not gonna worry about it, but I would not want, would not, 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 not want to have to clean this whole stencil with rubbing alcohol because that is a job. Um, you gotta be gentle. You, you don't wanna catch, like if you were rubbing this and you caught this and you bent it, then you start wrecking your stencil. You don't wanna do that. I'm gonna blow dry. You blow dry? Okay, that sounds good. And I wanna share one more thing about mandalas that I think is so valuable. So, I don't know if you guys have seen the dot art. So I did this little family. I just did some little samples on here with dots. It is everywhere. It is so satisfying. It's almost like the Zentangle thing. Like you can do dots and then dots on dots and dots on dots and dots around dots. It's amazing. And they make this fabulous set of tools. And we'll put a link that these are precise dotting tools with nice comfort grip and just a really, they're reversible so that they have two sizes in each one. And they go really big. Look at that guy. Um, so just amazing. Anyway, so you can take your mandala. Let me pick size. I can take my mandala stencil and I can pick up my paint and I can go dot, dot, pick up paint, do pick up paint, go here, dot, 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 change to a bigger size. I'm doing this really fast, so sorry. And then pick a medium size and have a graduated size going on. Thank you so much, Steve. And like, it is amazing. So this can become just a template or a pattern for your dotting adventures. And I love that about our stencils. You can do that actually with any of the stencils. I want to jump in real quick. Mm -hmm. And I want to say that we've had something really cool happening over probably the last year or so that we have traditionally um, had lives with lots of ladies on them. Yeah. And our male following has been growing yeah, tremendously. Blake is on here with us. We have Benjamin. He's new to our Hi, channel. Benjamin. Henry's here. Wayne is here. I love that. So we have I want to know what, new okay, friends. so new experience, right? So tell me what the guys are painting. Yeah. Like I, this has been a 98% woman field and that that's not, I'm not even saying anything bad about men doing painting, but it's like, it's a different, it's a different perspective. Yeah, and I would love that perspective. Okay, let's foil. Foil and leaf. So I'm gonna do this one first with the foil since it is laying out there. I'm gonna measure my piece and then I'm going to cut it off because I don't want it attached to this thing. Now you can keep this piece, like I said, and you will see um, what you, you can just use the leftovers because there's lots of holes there. So I'm just gonna lay that down. I'm gonna put it down and then you need this little like makeup powder applicator and you're just going to push and it's nice and smooth so it doesn't leave any scratches. If you use anything hard, it'll scratch the foil on and then it, it makes it very unappealing. So don't do that. Okay, so just get it nice and adhered and then like a Band-Aid, right? <laughs> La -la. And you can see that is way shimmerier, <laughs> way. Okay, so that's super cool. Okay, so now we'll go in and then see how much, do you see that um, these little like um, textured looking leftovers right there probably could have done with three coats of our medium. And then that would have been maybe a little bit more solid. It needs almost like a pillow effect to be able to get it adhered and also um, maybe 25 years old. So um, like it's very, very probable that it's about that old. Okay, so now we'll get out our leaf. Leaf is a mess to use, but it is really pretty. Last time we used it, it was floating around in the studio for like half an hour. Yeah, yeah it's definitely the glitter. Yeah, it's the glitter of the, of <laughs> the, the metallic glitter. world. These um, tissue paper um, elements with the leaf in them are called books. 
Okay, and so then you have a shiny side and you have a little bit of a duller side. So you can choose which sheen, at least in my mind, it's shinier. Okay, and then we're gonna just lay that down and then we are going to pat that down and then we're gonna use this as a release. Now, what I hate about this is there's a lot of waste. So what I can do to prevent the waste is I can go here and I can take that away and just lay them in. Let's see, I need a, I need a little bit of sticky. So I can take away my big bits and now it's sticking to my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's everywhere. So, but you can save some pieces, and I'm sure if you get practiced at it, I think that you would be able to do a lot better job than I'm doing right now on YouTube. Why, yeah. While you're while you're doing that, since it's going to be a while, um, <laughs> Donna says, "Can you have too much of your sticky medium before you do the?" I have never achieved too much sticky medium, okay. so I think maybe no. But then I'm also an impatient painter. How many of you are impatient painters? Because this is my name. Patty the impatient painter. And then Elizabeth asked. I'm always hurting. How long does stick and re-stick work before you would have to clean it and put fresh down? I'm going to say that. Never. We, yeah. um, there, if it gets dirty. If it gets dirty. If you are washing your stencil a lot. So when I did the Easter Bunny, mm -hmm. I had. Um, no, it might have been. No. I did one project and I had, it was the one, oh, the green one with yeah. the frame. Yeah, yeah. So I had stick and re-stick on the back of it because they were stripes. And then every time I would use the modeling paste through it, I would have to go wash it. Yeah. So I had to wash it four times. And by the end of the fourth time, because I was constantly washing it, there were some spots that were. That didn't stick so much. That weren't yeah. sticking as well yeah. because it was being washed and washed and washed and washed. So I think it's just going to. I think you can reapply it as you need to. You yeah. can take it off. You can use your rubbing alcohol, whatever you want to do. But it's um, just be aware of it. And if it starts feeling, um, let me answer that question. Well, not answer the question, but um, I think we're here and here. So where are you? So it won't pull up this whole stencil, but you can see that it's nice and sticky. Um, but it's not, it's, it's post-it note sticky, not... Um, not like uh, messy sticky. Okay, so now we are gonna go, and so we're almost at the end, so make sure that you give us a thumbs up, mm -hmm. like us, subscribe, ring the bell, all the things. Yeah. And YouTube loves algorithm stuff, and so we grow and reach more painters around the world to have more happy people um, because of you guys. So thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little applique, my makeup thing, and then we're gonna just wipe this off and I'm gonna have to dig at it a little bit that's a good idea I'm kind of almost burnishing it well I have never really had this no. happen before mm -hmm. so that's a fun thing I think maybe I pushed on it a little bit too hard and should have gone right for the bristly brush. Who wants their project to look like that? Yeah. I think, I think that's great. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you could work at it now. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about failures. Okay, so I'm perfectly fine failing. I have many years of F word. Um, happening. Okay, so what I would do if I did this and this did not work out like this, I would sand it. Hey, the sander's almost working better. It's kind of a neat distressed look. I would sand it to get it down to a level surface, okay? And then I would re black. So I want to have some thumbs up and some hearts and some stars. I, I need gold stars because I didn't scream about that. <laughs> like it's literally um, the neat thing um, we have on the back of these cups that we drink out of. Um, glasses. It says somewhere in here, paint is your best eraser. So like it is literally a thing that I have said for years. Um, 
Don't worry about it. Just paint back over it. Um, it is okay to have these moments. And so you can just go right back over and base it out. Sand it till it's flat. This is not quite flat. But you're not going to know. The person you painted this for is not going to know that you had to do it twice. And, and don't tell them. Yeah, don't, do not <laughs> tell them. Whatever you do, because they'll look for it then. Like the minute you tell somebody, ooh, there's a problem there, and they'll be like searching and trying to do a puzzle or something like that. This is actually a really cool effect. I um, kind of like it too. It's kind of like when you use like a, modeling paste or something. A satin yeah. varnish through a stencil. Um, Carol asked, since we're back to base coating, can you add water to paint if it is really thick in the bottle so that you can thin it Absolutely. a little? So like this was this was thick. Yeah, I wouldn't. I don't know that I would do anything to the metallics because it'll make them way more sheer. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but like it's got that little bit yeah, of texture. You can, you can see from the overhead it's camera. It's amazing. That you can still see the like that's a cool, cool, cool little accident right there. I love it. Um, but. So you can take, um, we've got one of the honey bottles with water, and so I could just go, and what I like about these is without squishing, because if you squish, it's going to go whoop, and um, so I can just put drop, 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 and then I could brush mix that in, and, and then go to town. And then be mindful that you don't want to add a lot of water to your paint when you are going to be stenciling because the thinner your paint is, the bigger your chance that you're going to bleed under. Yeah. So um, because I'm thinking that we're kind of creeping in on time, mm -hmm. I'm not going to redo the, the leaf. Yeah. Um, leaf is actually my favorite, so I've actually never had that happen. I'm not quite certain what did happen. But... Um, we will come back at this in a couple of weeks and I will bring you an update on the leaf and we'll show like why, what, and when. And um, so we'll do that then. But man, do I love the, the foil. Like that foil is phenomenal. And I thought today that I would show the silver instead of the gold because we do gold on like everything. But I think there are silver people in the world and we need to remember, yeah. remember that. I think it's just amazing. So, all right, I think we're good. Do we have any questions that we need to? I think we're good. I have one that I'm answering right now, but I think that we're good. I want to thank everyone for coming and sharing. Yeah, we have a you. lot of um, really nice comments to read through yeah. this afternoon. Oh, and, you guys um, going to make me cry. Make sure that you keep your eye out on your inbox because I will be messaging 15 people on the 15th. And I also want to take this time to remind you to sign up for our newsletter. We have some really great education that happens in the newsletter. Yeah. That's where all of our video releases come. That is where new product releases come. That is where our sales come. And we have some really fun giveaways and sales coming up for our 15,000 yeah. subscribers. So you don't want to miss out. Mm -mm. Like FOMO is a real thing. You don't fear of missing out. You do not want to miss out because we, we keep it just as alive there as we are in our lives yeah. and um, we try to just give you know so this is like what we're trying to give to you yeah all right you guys thank you so much for fifteen thousand. thank you of you and we love you and we'll see you next week